you're talking about him as if he was a human being. That part of him died years ago. What's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. Halloween 4 The Return of Michael Myers is directed by Dwight H. Little and stars Donald Pleasance, Daniel Harris, and Ellie Cornell. It follows 10 years after the events of the second film. Michael Myers has been in a coma this whole time and after learning that he has one living relative left, his little niece Jamie played by Harris. He returns to the quiet streets of Hattonville, Illinois to kill his niece. This really brought Michael back in style. After the last one, a lot of people was begging the studios to bring Michael back. And they did. The casting was done well. As usual, Donald Pleasance plays an excellent Dr. Loomis. He is continuing on the path of trying to find out where Michael is, and tries to stop him no matter the cost, and teams up with the sheriff to try and stop Michael for good. But, you know, that never really works out. Yeah, I think this was Harris's, um, around the time when she was breaking into Hollywood, this was Harris's start. She may have been in a couple things before this, but she was 10 years old at the time, so uh, this may have been her big start into Hollywood. The editing by Curtis Clayton was do done very well. It wasn't choppy, just like the first three. The lighting and cinematography was done well. It was, had more of a darker vibe. Peter Lyons Collister does the cinematography work for this, not Dean Cundy. He does not return, but it still looks good. Like I said, it gave that dark vibe, and it, he really lets you know when something bad's really going to happen. Because it's like really gritty and really dark. Alan B. McElroy's script was good. It, you know, like I said, they, they brought Michael back in style. Not that this movie is without its faults, but I'll get to that later. The direction by Dwight H. Little was pretty good. He, um, he, he just, he done a perfect job for a franchise that was almost dead at the time. Alan Howarth returns to do the score. It was done really well. The score, the writing, the cinematography, and all that. Pros. Michael's back. You know, after the last one, a lot of people was very disappointed. Because it had Halloween 3, but it was Season of the Witch. Dealt with a witch. Nobody wanted that. So, you know, they created a good idea, the studio did, to bring Michael back in a big way. And this was more memorable. It's creepier. Even... A little creepier than the second one, but I won't go that far. But it was still good for what it was. And the cons. Michael's mask. It wasn't as good as the first two. He finds it at a Halloween shop while Jamie's shopping around for her Halloween costume and just puts it on when he does. It doesn't look that much creepy. It's kind of a joke, really. It's not even the same mask that they used in the first two, of course. I don't think they could because it was probably decayed by then. It's been a decade. So. <laughs> but the mask wasn't all that memorable. It was, it was just not. It was not good. You know, they could have they could have devised a better mask for Michael to wear. A final thoughts. This is a very enjoyable sequel, especially for an iconic character's return. It was a good watch, and I'd recommend it for any horror fan out there. I'm going to give Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, a B+. Stay tuned for my review for Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, coming to you soon. Share this video, like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace the rip out.